Hello friends and welcome to the second video on procrastinating. My name is Adya and we would be discussing at least one tool, at least one method of different types of procrastinating. So if you remember in the last video we had spoken about we had introduced forecasting we had discussed what is forecasting the importance of forecasting and how especially in the times of today in covid how we are struggling with forecasting and yet it gains even more importance so like i said in the last video the three methods the broadly the three types of methods are qualitative technique time series method and the causal method the qualitative techniques is usually used when we do not have too much data with us the time series is uh, when uh, we can we want we can predict a trend a cyclical pattern and causal method is when we have been able to establish a relationship between two variables and therefore we know that the increase and decrease of one impacts the increase and decrease of other also it's a very broad method it's a very broad way of defining them now the first one the qualitative technique delphi method is a very very popular method which is which comes under the qualitative methods so what is delphi method well when a panel of experts are interrogated by a sequence of questionnaires and so when they reply to one set of questionnaires then the another set of questionnaire is shared with them to fill in the gaps etc and the basic premise in this is that all experts they have access to the same type of uh, uh, same level of information and usually it takes around 2 to 3 rounds of experts answering questions and judgment of and the judgment of experts are noted to arrive at the forecast a very very uh, simple method not at all difficult to understand not a very complex method however it has its own disadvantages also so getting the right kind of experts is extremely important and also somewhere the motivation of the expert to be involved in this plays a very crucial role um if you do not have the right kind of expert and or if you you may have quali qualification wise the right kind of expert but he's not motivated in this to be part of this and he's just there because because of some other reason uh, we may not uh, get the right answer however as i said this is a very simple method not very complex and easy to use another qualitative method is historical analogy so what is this in this we try to predict the the sales or the data for one product based on the sales or of a similar product in the past again a very simple method if you look at it so for example we may like to predict the sales of a new cold a new soft drink in the market based on the sales of some other soft drink which already exist in the market very simplistic in approach um, we may try to predict um, the sales of a product in uh, india based on the sales of that product uh, in some other country though the demographics may be same the age group may be same the income levels may be same etc and yet as you can see the disadvantage may be that we miss out a crucial factor of culture and therefore though the demographics may be same the culture in which the two sets of population are there may not be same and hence the same product which may do very well in culture 1 may not do very well in culture 2 uh, so again a very simple method however one needs to be very careful how to use it the time series method in the time series method one of the ways is the moving average so what is moving average it's it's very simple it's a calculation to analyze data points by creating a series of average averages of different subsets uh, so you may have so let's let's take an example so in week 1 you had uh, 10 customers coming in week 2 you have 15 customers coming in week 3 you have 12 customers coming in week 4 you have 13 customers coming 
and uh, so in week five how many customers will come you can just do a simple average and you can come up with an answer that in week five so many customers may come please understand this is not i'm not taking a class where i'm discussing the formulas and uh, solving examples right now what we are doing is uh, just trying to understand the basic of every method we are trying to understand what is every method about so moving average as i said i mean we we take the average the so moving average can be simple average it can be weighted average or it can be exponential depending on what we are looking at but again moving average needs data it needs past data and we can use that past data to predict the future for example like i just said so we know that every week so many customers come so we use the moving average to find out how many customers will come in week five as i said it can be simple average weighted average or it can be exponential the third kind of method which is the causal method where we have been able to establish a relationship between two variables. So for example, um, if you use a regression method, a company may believe that increase in advertising expenditure helps them to increase the sales of that particular product. Great, we have established a relationship between two variables and therefore with the help of regression method, we may be able to predict the future. Now, it may so happen that a company has been able to establish relationship with more than one variable. So, for example, the sales may be dependent not just on the price of the product. They also believe it has a relationship with the income of the consumer. And in such a situation, then what do we do? We use econometric metal with a model, which is um, a system of interdependent regression equations. So, which means more than one equation again as i said so as you can see there are various methods with each method we can see that the accuracy is increasing however at the same time the amount of information we need with each method also increases that's why the accuracy is increasing but the cost also simultaneously somewhere increases also we may or may not have all the information that we may require so i may want to use econometric method model but i may not have the required data set and if we do not have the required data set then though we want to use this model we may have to decide some other model based on the availability i reiterate what i said right in the beginning that in, in our previous video that forecasting is important but what is more important is to understand the application of the right technique and you can only do that if you understand why are we doing this forecasting if we understand the relationship between the time accuracy and cost and we are clear as to where are we going to use this I've given you various examples. So, for example, historical analogy, we discussed, we gave an example of soft drinks. For regression, we spoke about advertising and sales. For uh, econometric, we discussed sales with price and income of the people. Delphi method is more about experts. So, different methods have their own advantages and their own disadvantages. This is not an exhaustive list of methods. As promised in the previous video, I have just taken one or two examples of every method. We will discuss with examples in the next video, with technical examples in the next video. Till then, do revise. Have a great time.